hello friends in the name of jesus i welcome you all to a new episode of the new life so today in the catechism session let us learn in detail about the sacrament of confession confession is a sacrament of healing we catholics believe that our church heals from the sacrament of confession the sacrament of penance reconciliation or confession is a spiritual healing process we believe that jesus christ left this sacrament of penance because only god can forgive and heal a wounded soul a penance help the catholics to atone for the sins they have committed Jesus Christ instituted the sacrament of penance for all sinful members of his church for those since baptism have fallen into grave sin it is to them that the sacrament of penance offers a new possibility to convert and to recover the grace of justification the confession of sins even from a simply human point of view frees us and facilitates our reconciliation with others through such an admission man looks squarely at the sins he is guilty of takes responsibility for them and thereby opens himself again to god and to the communion of the church in order to make a new future possible the purpose of confession is to reconcile man to god when we sin we deprive ourselves of god's grace and by doing so we make it even easier to sin more the only way out of this is to acknowledge our sins to repent of them and to ask god's forgiveness then in the sacrament of confession grace can be restored to your souls and we can once again resist sin The sacrament of confession is one of the seven sacraments recognized by the Catholic Church. We Catholics believe that all the sacraments of the church were instituted by our Lord Jesus Christ himself. In the case of confession, it was instituted on the Easter Sunday when Jesus appeared to the apostles for the first time after resurrection. He breathes on them and he says receive the holy spirit for those whose sins you forgive they are forgiven for those whose sins you retain they are retained those who approach the sacrament of penance obtain god's mercy for the offense they have committed against him only god can forgive sins as jesus christ being the son of god says of himself the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins and then he exercises his divine power your sins are forgiven you must confess all known mortal sins to a priest you can confess all your sins but start with any mortal sins the priest is bound by the most absolute secrecy and confidentially known to human kind not even the pope can get a priest to tell who went to him for confession and what was confessed the priest must be willing to endure prison torture and death before violating the seal of confession the secrecy of the sacrament you must be sorry you committed the sin and resolve to do your best and not to repeat the sin again after you confess your sins the priest gives you a penance to perform a penance may be to do something nice for your enemy it may involve any one of the corporal or spiritual works of mercy or it may be a set of prayers such as saying our father or the hail mary a certain number of times whatever the penance it's merely a token because catholics believe that the sacrifice of christ on the cross is what made atonement for our sins 
your penance is for your benefit to remind you that god comes first and you come last the priest or bishop hearing your confession offers forgiveness saying a prayer that calls on god to give you absolution and to be holy and perfect is a tall invitation but by the grace of god we can become holy and perfect and that's the reason why we observe countless saints in the catholic church but there are times where we give in to temptation and we commit sin which is an offense against god which disrupts the relationship along with him but god's mercy is always for the sinners god unceasingly calls us not to condemn but to save us amen friends in Christ Jesus today we are taking psalms 24 it is a prayer for guidance and protection we have to offer all our prayers to the lord and he will take care of us and he will save us
dear friends today we reflect on the gospel according to saint matthew chapter 21 verses 28 to 32 jesus went on to say what do you think of this a man had two sons he went to the first and said to him son go and work today in my vineyard and the son answered i don't want to but later he thought better of it and went then the father went to his other son and said the same thing this son replied i will go sir but he did not go which of the two did what father wanted they answered the first and jesus said to them truly i say to you the publicans and the prostitutes are ahead of you on the way to the kingdom of heaven for john came to show you the way of goodness and you did not believe him but the publicans and the prostitutes did you were witnesses of this but you neither repented nor believed in him the meaning of the story is crystal clear the first son refers to the tax collectors and the sinners where their life was like a refusal to god or religion but when jesus came to them and when he spoke to them they all listened and they changed their way of life whereas the second son refers to the scribes priests and pharisees their only profession was to serve and obey the commandments of god but when in the real time when jesus christ the son of god came to them they all ignored him they did not listen to him and finally they crucified him the greatest liability of the church has is the unsatisfactory lives of the professing christians it is true that in our everyday lives we either attract people or repel people from christianity once a young man said to a great preacher who used to teach finest things but did not live them he said i cannot hear what you say of listening what you are if one teaches something and does not follow it no matter what either he is a clergy or a layman it will do infinite harm to christ and his church the conclusion of this parable given by jesus is very hard and evident according to the opinion of the priests and elders the tax collectors and the prostitutes were sinners and unclean and they did not do the will of the father in heaven but according to the opinion of jesus christ the tax collectors and the prostitutes in fact said i don't want to but still they ended up doing the will of the father they repented on listening to the preachings of john the baptist they repented listening to jesus they acknowledged the arrival of the son of god may god shower his abundance of grace upon all of us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path dear friends thank you for joining with us in today's program i wish to see all of you next week as well also do watch other videos which are available in our channel may god bless you all 
have a blessed week have a blessed sunday in the name of jesus amen